so welcome to my youtube channel today i am back with another interesting question so in this figure we have an equilateral triangle each side is given as 10 units and inside it we have a circle in fact it is an in circle and we have to find the area of this circle so we know that the area of any circle is given by the formula pi times square of its radius so our main focus will be to find the value of r i will show you two methods by which we can find area of this circle the first method is without using the concepts of trigonometry for that let us join these points p and d likewise q and c r and a so these three lines are intersecting each other at the center of the circle and this point is called the centroid we know a property that if we have an equilateral triangle then the centroid of an equilateral triangle and the in center coincides so this point o is the centroid of the triangle also the center of this in circle so this is a property now we see that qb is tangent to this circle o is the center of the circle b is the point of contact so ob will be perpendicular to qr we know a theorem let us recall it so if we have a circle this is the center of the circle we have a tangent to it this is the common point of contact then if we join these two points then this line segment will be perpendicular to the tangent so this angle will be 90 degree now another property that it is an equilateral triangle and we have this ob perpendicular to qr then by symmetry this will be equal to this so we can divide it into two parts so this will be 5 units and this will also be 5 units now let us focus on this triangle PBR let me draw it outside so this is point B R and T BR is 5 units PR is 10 units and PB is unknown to us so we will use Pythagorean theorem so we can write 10 squared is equal to pb squared plus 5 squared so this will be 100 equals pb square plus 25 subtracting 25 from both sides so this will be 75 equals pb square so pb will be equal to square root of 75 which is 5 root 3 units now we have got this length pb as 5 root 3 units we will use the property of centroid so on this line segment pb o lies here so the property of centroid is that it will divide pb into two parts in the ratio 2 is to 1 so if this entire length pb is say for example x then this length will be o to b will be x y 3 and p to o will be 2 times x y 3 and our aim was to find the radius of the circle which is nothing but distance between o and b so this is r so r will be equal to the entire length x here is equivalent to 5 root 3 so 5 root 3 divided by 3 that means one third of this entire length so we have found the radius of this in circle simply we have to substitute its value here so this will be pi times 5 root 3 divided by 3 whole squared so this will be pi times 25 times 3 divided by 9 so this will cancel 3 times so 25 pi upon 3 square units is the area of the circle now we can use another method that is using trigonometry to find the area so let us try 
method number two so as we have seen area of circle is pi times radius squared so in this method also our main aim will be to find the value of uh, r so let us join p and b as we already know this will be 90 degree all the interior angles of an equilateral triangle are 60 degree so this will be 60 degree now let us focus in uh, this triangle pbq so this is p this is b and this point is q so this will be 5 units this will be 5 units this is 5 this is 10 and this angle is 60 degree we know that tan 60 degree is equal to pb upon qb here so pb means this and qb means this so tan 60 is root 3 pb is unknown so pb upon qb is 5 equals root 3 so from here we get pb equals 5 root 3 so we have found the value of pb now our aim will be to find this distance r we know the property of centroid again so this will be r will be equal to one third of 5 root 3 so the radius will be 5 root 3 upon 3 so area of this circle will be pi times 5 root 3 divided by 3 whole square which is pi times 25 times 3 upon 9 3 3 cancelled so this will be 25 upon 3 square units to get more such videos subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching